Scott Owen, the assistant here at Bloomsboro. Scott, two-time All-American at Northern Illinois. Yep. And I used to, we used to do you. I was at Kent State, you were at Northern, and I always remember Energizer Bunny, man. Yep. Talk about that, that mentality you got in that training mentality. You're not from a Midwest, or you're not from a strong wrestling state predominantly. You're New Mexico. Yep. You probably can't name ten guys on your hands that are were D1 All-Americans. I mean, New maybe, Mexico. Maybe five. Five, yeah. yeah. So where does that come from? Where do you get that coming from New Mexico, and why did you train so hard? Uh, you know, my dad was my coach growing up, and uh, we, we, we watched Iowa wrestling when we could. Um, those guys, you know, that's a style that, that wins. And I wanted to, uh, I thought, you know, that's where I could get my confidence from training. You know, if I'm in a tough match with the best guys in the country, you know, my training, my, my work ethic is going to come through. You know, I, I didn't have, you know, I didn't come from the best background, um, but, but I was trained to, to work hard from the time I was this big. And uh, that's, that's kind of where it came from, was just learning how to do it from my, from my pop. All right, you guys, who do you wrestle in New Mexico? You go and you crush everybody. You're at Carl's Bed High. It was you, your brother, and then your two cousins. Yep. And you guys were the core of the team. You guys were, were tough. Yeah. But where did you wrestle in New Mexico? Well, New Mexico was tough, you know. We were we were heads and tails above most people in that state, and really to get competition, we'd have to go out of state. And Oklahoma was the closest next thing to us. We used to go to the Oklahoma Open, the Perry Tournament of Champions, and that's where we really branched out. And we did a lot of freestyle. I mean, we did a bunch of freestyle to the camps, the uh, developmental camps, basically getting out and being exposed to the best wrestlers in the country as much as we could, because it wasn't happening, in, obviously, in New Mexico. All right, uh, Northern Illinois, you're a two-time All-American, you're fifth twice. Mm -hmm. Hey, how do you end up from New Mexico to Northern Illinois? Well, during those, those developmental camps I used to go to, uh, we, we headed up to uh, Minnesota one year. That's where developmental camp was. And Dave Grant was the head assistant at the time, and he had just gotten a job um, that summer to go and coach Northern Illinois. So I built a pretty good relationship from him. I mean, I was wrestling the best kids in the country at that, at that camp. Um, was doing well with them. Actually wrestled a couple of the college guys at Minnesota. Was doing well with those guys. He saw me, um, and the kind of rest is history. He, he really, we, we kind of gelled together. He called me a bunch. Um, I came up there on one visit, didn't take any other visits, and, and that was it. You know, I ended up at Northern Illinois all the way from um, New Mexico. It was a chance for me to break into the lineup right away um, and, and show, you know, show the country what I had. Okay, fifth twice. Uh, you were in those tough 157 yeah. with Becker, Bertine, I'm mean, just phenomenal weights. Fifth twice, you know, some people might look at it. Did you look at it, it was fifth disappointing? Because I used to watch you train, man. Yeah. Like, you were, you'd train before the match, yeah. beat her guy up, and then train after the match. Was fifth disappointing for you twice? Yeah, no, there's no doubt about it. You know, it was, it was crushing to me as a senior. Um, you know, I got to the semis with, uh, you know, Tara Pelly was, would have had a heck of a, had a heck of a tournament. Beat Luke Becker in the quarters. I roll into him. And I, I don't know if I looked ahead of that match. I knew, you know, Keaton and Anderson and, and Ryan Bertine were on the other side, and and I hadn't ever lost to Bertine. And I felt like one more, one more, one more match. I'm in the finals. I'm gonna be a national champ. And uh, it didn't happen. You know, uh, Terry Pelly upset me, and it, it was it was crushing. You know, it was really tough for me. And I think that's why I continued to wrestle past college. I never, you know, achieved my ultimate goal in college. And but to answer your, your, your question, yeah, it was it was tough for me. Would you say that you took a lot of confidence because you trained so hard and we were always like, yeah. man, this guy's a machine. Did you take a lot of confidence from that? Yeah, I mean, I had to. I mean, I didn't, you know, until my senior year, my junior senior year at Northern, we didn't have a great, you know, a lot of depth, a lot of guys training with the same mindset of being national champs and All-Americans. And so I kind of had to do it a little bit on my own, you know. And so um, the, way I, the way I approached it is as hard as I could work, you know, in, in the room, out of the room, I would, that's where I got my confidence. You know, I wasn't having the best guys in the room like, you know, Minnesota and Michigan, those guys training with each other every day. Um, I had to find a way to get my confidence, and that was by beating guys as bad as I could, um, never letting a guy ever think he could beat me. The guys that I could really blow out, I was going to. And then when you wrestle those top echelon guys, you know, I just had to let my, my work ethic take over, uh, wrestle as hard as I could and score, score when I could and get in positions to get the guy tired. Okay, you actually, your coaching career has been, uh, did you stuck around at Northern? Yep. Then from there you went to the Naval Academy. Yeah. And that was where you did most of your training? Yes. Talk about training and preparing, you know, trying to get on that 2018. Yeah, that was good. That was a good move for me. Um, I coached with Bruce Burnett. You know, obviously Bruce has a long history with the national team, and, and he showed me a lot of little intricate things to help my freestyle. And it really, 
I think it was a great move as far as getting away from Northern, starting over and focusing on my freestyle. I worked with great guys there. I mean, those academies are some of the best places to go and coach. Great kids. Uh, right around that time, we had a really good team. We, my, the last year I was there, we had three All-Americans. I worked with Matt Stolpinski a bunch. He was a two-time All-American there. And it was a great environment for me. Um, and it was, it, you know, put myself in a position to compete and contend for those those positions to make a to make a world team, an Olympic team. You know, got hurt in 2008 and tore my ACL, but but it was it was a good move. I don't have any regrets about it. Okay, fast forward to coming here to Bloom, man. Stutzman, he was all over you. He he yeah. wanted you because he coached you at Northern. Yeah. Okay, and he knew what type of guy you were and yeah. a competitor, but he was talking about you know you really translate it good as a coach. What, what goes into that, knowing you know the grind of it? Yeah. What goes into that? How can you relate it to the guys? Uh, I think I have a pretty good mind at, you know, as a coach. You know, I, I think I know what buttons to push on the guys. Um, obviously trying to get the guys to, to train hard, to wrestle hard. It, it's, it's been a little bit of a transition. You know, some guys will fight you a little bit. You know, they, they, don't, uh, they don't buy into the going 100 miles an hour, scoring 100 times. Um, and that's been a little difficult, but the, I think the way that, that I'm able to relate it to them it's getting there, you know. Obviously, this is uh, we're still a work in progress. It's only my second year here, um, but I think I relate well. Just as far as is, is I also wrestle a bunch in the room still. And when you train with the guys every day, and they see your, your coach, positive. Keep going. Uh, they, they see the coach, you know, working hard and, and training them. Um, they kind of feed off that.